Oh, I'll hype for you for this fight, Brian, between Class A and Class B. Man, Class B about to get clapped. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually I don't I yeah. barely remember the the purple hair guy Shinzo the uh. Never ever forget him because of Taylor. Continue. <laughs> Because I couldn't shut the fuck up about him. <laughs> no, okay, yeah. he was basically, like, from the first tournament arc, Deku had to go up against him, and he uh -huh. has that brain control power, which is yeah. really sucky for him because it's such a villainy-sounding power. Everybody's mm -hmm. terrified of him, but he wants to be a hero. And so I just remember thinking his interactions with Deku just felt very meaningful. I really felt for this guy, like, 100%. I understood where his headspace was. I was, like, rooting for him when they were going up against each other. And I just remember thinking... He could be actually a really interesting character. That's a pretty convenient quirk to have. And then you just never fucking hear about him again for seasons. And I'm just sitting here waiting for the day when this guy <laughs> shows up again. To be and fair, he's like, here. <sighs> it hit, like the way what he's turned his quirk into it, it's pretty sick. Um, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. he's, also, just, he's just an awesome character. He, that's, this is a, a he's, he's actually really cool. And I, I figured he was actually like uh, Aizawa took him under his wing just because, again, of the promo art, the opening <laughs> where he has the. The, the same, like, uh, cloth the as, like, as always. Yeah, like, yeah, the bandages. Yeah. Yep. So I figured it's like, okay, well, at some point. But the one thing that actually I didn't uh, actually see coming where I didn't know you could actually uh, transfer to, like, the hero course in a sense. So, like, when I heard that where he was actually wanting to... I thought it was just, like, a where it was basically one of those just class battles again. And that they're just yeah. going to inevitably lose. But then when we find out he actually, you know, he was able to be, like, a special guest and wanted to become, um, actually transfer into the hero the uh, the uh, the hero class I was like oh damn I was like okay this is this is a little bit more interesting also for some reason lo it's just kind of like a stupid like it's just a stupid thing but I love to see like the teams that they make like just to see like what the like the, the team compilations are that they just randomly randomly choose just to kind of just to kind of see uh, what team what team was it Taylor that I mentioned and I was like oh man that team sucks was that Deku's team <laughs> yeah Deku was okay with, uh, <laughs> Uranaka and Minata and Minata Sanfiel. okay that, oh, that's yeah. where he went. <laughs> Okay. I have oh, it. God. I have it basically pulled up right now. I'll take a look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just like watching that happen. Just like what the team comps are. It's, it's like you have the most OP character, and you have to add a person like Minata to your team. So yeah, I guess man, balance gotta balance got, it somewhere. <laughs> they've got Ashido yep. too, so it's Ashido, Minata, Uraraka, and Deku. Mm -hmm. They're already yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, whatever. <laughs> so, Do that uh, team just sounds like they're gonna prevail off of friendship and love? <laughs> okay, right. Deku. You should have this. It's gonna be great. Dude. Welcome to we the shaman world again. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> Fun fact: the bandages were against his will. Just, just so you know that. Oh, oh, so yeah. there's more, okay. more of a bonded relationship between Aizawa and Shinzo. Ah, Makes sense. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, Physically okay, and guys. literally speaking. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was uh, our more so keep it PG. Is Aizawa being like, "Don't ever talk to me or my son ever again." <laughs> That's the relationship yeah. they have. Yeah, I got like really hard like father son vibes there. It's like <laughs> this kid is like the long lost child of this man. And yeah. he didn't it's pretty much what uh, All Might to Deku is, but from a different kind of perspective. Yeah, yeah I can see yes. that. In terms of mentor mentee. Yeah. Well, Aizawa, he used to tell, you know, his kid, he's like, hey, I just want to talk. And then he wrapped bandages really tightly around <laughs> his eyes. It was bad. I just imagine like as I was household, it's like one of those kids like running away and this bandit just comes flying out of like one of the rooms, straps to his leg, and the kid's like, no, <laughs> just drags him by his foot. I can do God damn it, Sasha. Why you gotta put these yeah, things in my head, man? He's gonna get some oh, eyes oh, 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 <laughs> Yeah, how how this guy get in here? <laughs> but no nah, man, if the author ever needs any side stories, bro, it sounds like you you got him covered for at uh, once oh, yeah. my hero is all said and done. <laughs> oh yes, let's go. Yep. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. But no, um, to to start and, and you guys' point, like I, I'm excited to see the different team comps because you know I think admittedly with my hero sometimes you get used to you know the the Deku, the Bakugo, the Todoroki when there's three are kind of like always coming together and teaming up and really like my hero does shine when you get to see these auxiliary characters from the hero course you know come together in different variations and really make their quirks stand out. Um, cause I think if they didn't do that, then yeah, it would just be, oh, you know, Deku's going to save the day with his OP quirk or Bakugo's going to save the day with his OP quirk and things like that. I don't know. What do you think of that first fight we had for teams? Uh, uh yeah, go ahead, cool. because it, it was just basically showing, uh, I already blanked his name. Shinzo? <laughs> uh, yeah. Shin uh, no, Shinzo, Shinzo's ability. Cause I think yeah. that's basically what, like the, the only point of like what we saw so far. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, honestly, 
that beast guy's power. It's like, okay, great. He rampages. Dude, that guy just reminds me of Beast from X Men. Yep. It's like, okay, cool. You're a beast. <laughs> yep. It, it's yeah, basically when they, he showed up, you know, he did the Shonen thing that just explained his ability or his like, power. That's like the one that really bothered me. This episode. Just the whole, like, they spent, they spent a long time, like, explaining. I know, like, they're in a classroom setting, but still. It was a while of him talking about how we we need. We he was just giving everything. all that exposition of yeah. like, wait, there's 42 people, but we can only have four per team. How does that work? And it's like, <laughs> oh, here's how it will work. So, yeah, to yeah. your point, he just served his purpose of exposition. Yeah, it was basically that. I mean, I still really like Denki. I like Kirishima as well. They're both, you know, there for comedy. And I also think they have some pretty, they have some pretty cool abilities. Uh, who is their other member? I'm blanking. Oh, uh, the two. Uh, That's right. Yeah. Dude, yeah. So, girl? yeah yeah to, so to be fair like we didn't really get too much of the first fight yet but i think just just like uh showing shinzo's ability where he he's able to like in a sense like mimic other people's like voices so they respond to him i thought that was pretty cool mm -hmm. uh i'm still kind of interested to see like how he uses aizawa's like things because shinzo doesn't seem like the fighting type really unless i mean i'm assuming like since the last time we saw him a lot of time has gone by so i'm i'm sure he could have uh and it also, with I'm assuming with Aizawa's type of training, could easily be catching up uh, a little bit with uh, some combat abilities or hand to hand. I, I feel like in itself, he's too strong. There's no way that they can defeat him unless they cover their ears or something like that. I guess. But... But don't say anything. It's basically once they, they once they actually like, talk back to the guy or like um, respond in any sort of way, then I think that's basically when they get caught. But oh, I, right, yeah, I guess that too. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to know though, like, because you know, we, he's able to, like, in a way, like, mimic um, how they, <clears throat> you know, so they, they respond to him. But mm -hmm. I'm wondering if there's something more to his abilities. Mm -hmm. uh, just that, because it's just like, it, you know, he can kind of like take the take over them in a sense or take control. But how we saw through Deku, Deku can, like, he, like, in a way, they can still get over, they, they still overpower it. Mm -hmm. But then again, Deku has you know the, the nine like, armor, predecessors of so. All Might pushing him past. Yeah, yeah he basically has like or a different all for one. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he basically has the all for one. He has all the stuff. So he, he has like all that kind of going for him. So that could be just you know just uh that could be a part of that as well. Right, but but again, with the whole his ability is is so overpowered that the only way to beat it is plot armor, right? So yeah. I seriously doubt that they're gonna lose, even though they already captured or knocked out two of the teams team members. So. Yeah, but no, it's um, it's I I don't know. For, I've always liked Hero Academia with their just they're just like these uh these tournaments in a sense. I don't know why. Like I I don't know if like I'm I think Bones also makes it look more enjoyable just because animation with the animation just makes it look just awesome. Uh, I never my my least favorite part so far of this show has actually been like the League of Villains because I think they're just trash. Besides Dobby, wow. Dobby's the only one I have. Interest in. That's that's interesting um, you say that because I'm like opposite view strand. I don't really care about tournaments, but I want to see more League of Villains because of like like the actual story of the show. So does anybody actually like the League of Villains? Does anybody think they can like stand a chance I mean, at this they're point? Like, they're like the only like thing hap like happening in the show. So I I need like yeah, but really like it's like they're just they just I don't know they just blow. I feel like <laughs> they've served as a better purpose as a villain rather than like Chisaki or the gentle criminal. Like, oh, for, as for villains, they're the best ones that my hero has to offer currently. So we'll just leave it at that. To be to honest, be fair, to be fair, like that's not saying much. That's not saying much. <laughs> <laughs> overhaul was its own separate thing. I, they could have done overhaul. I think so much better because like overhaul in itself as a character was so it, it, it just seems so awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. And then they just kind of you know they just went out with a whipper. And hey, then we what it kind of should have. You know, so exactly. and now we're focused on like the League of Villains. I'm thinking, motherfucker, I hate these guys. Oh, uh, it, it's I don't know. It, even though Endeavor's like little story, kind of like back, like uh, I thought it was also really good with him just kind of um, him having kind of like his redemption arc in a sense for some people. Mm -hmm. I don't care, he doesn't care about him. Um, I'm not saying I don't care about him, I'm just saying he just he, no, spent, no. he spent years yes, David. traumatizing his family. You gotta do more than just an apology, all right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, it's, uh, but, but he's trying to do more. Yeah, not yeah. everyone can be like. Yeah, he's Gino, always right? trying. It takes some time, you know. Yeah, but but like him, like 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 Endeavor's little arc from like end of last season, I thought was really good. Like the introduction of Hawks, just with his character as well. I, 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 no, no, I, no. But none of them was League of Villains. I think League of Villains is by far the worst thing. They just keep throwing Nomos out. I mean, I don't fucking care about the Nomos. You they're know, evolving, bro. Come on, yeah, they're, they're just, just some time, man. God, 
they're just terrible. It's just like basically just throwing like advanced putty from Power Rangers. <laughs> give me whoa, whoa. put some respect on those putties, Dave, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, yeah, not, even, I'm not even watching this, <laughs> but this sounds terrible already. <laughs> the fact that we're debating whether or not the League of Shadows are a good cast of villains, yeah, that tells me everything I need to know about this show right now. They're not in this right now, so that's why I, th- I feel like it's better because they're it's currently just like the it's just like the Shonen tournament arc. Um, just, just don't listen to Sred. He's just ranting about the League of Villains for some reason. They're not even in this episode. Yeah, in this episode. <laughs> like, I don't know why he's ranting about it. Yeah. I mean, I think at the end of the day, you want to have that balance where you know there needs to be progression from both sides. And obviously, yeah. from what we've seen, it seems like it's really going to focus on you know Class One A versus Class One B. But I do agree with David's point. Is as we know right now, the you know League of Villains are the only main entity. So hopefully, you know, we get to see more snippets of. Hawk's involvement on his kind of, you know, double agent mission, uh, hopefully some more with uh, Endeavor and him trying to uh, resolve all the shit he's put his family through and then see what yeah. the League of Villains are up to. Um, yeah. And having that balance be done well is probably what's going to make people like this season more. Because I think if the whole season is just like, all right, round one of 1A versus like, 1B. Okay, have, this takes two episodes. Like, round two. Yeah, we have, we round have so three, many like, teams of like, yeah, like, like was it teams of four or whatever? That's so many people to go, to go through. So like, I really Boring. hope this doesn't take like too long. I want to like, like let's get through. I know Strand. Yeah, the- I know Strand doesn't doesn't like League of Legends, but like, I need I need the plot. Like, just please, like, get out of school. I, th- I think that's a part of it. Like, what with the League of Villains is because like it's multiple. It's been multiple seasons now where they've been kind of just Mia. Because like the last season was um, Overhaul and Gentle Criminal. We really yeah. saw nothing about. League of Villains until at the end where they basically just took away uh, overall hands and then they just moved on and then that's all we saw and and then yeah, that, but, and so I don't want like, to school stuff so yeah well yeah well like well, I guess what, what how like what Justin was saying like would you agree like they haven't really been showing the League of Villains I guess no uh, or like they haven't really shown any progression they've sh- they've shown Dobby here and there that's about it yeah but well, that's, I'm to be saying, fair you have to uh... no go ahead David. Uh, no, I'm just gonna reiterate. Like, I still would rather see them in the, the school stuff. Uh, I mean, I would rather see them in a sense, like showing, like, like I don't know. Well, I don't. I really don't know. Well, there there has to be a balance, right? You can't just have a show about just kids going to school, learning how to be superheroes. If there's no villains for them to fight, otherwise, right. what's the point of the show? It right? just becomes one big. There has to be. Then. Yeah. yeah. Right. There there has to be progression, and you know, in the very first episode of the season, they did show that hey, you know, like behind the scenes, the League of Villains has been working on something, and you know, Hawks is infiltrating them. They're working on this like super Nomu, uh, like a bunch of them. Uh, and you know, as you saw, Endeavor barely was able to take out one of these super nomus. So, uh, you know, keep out for that. This stuff will be a big thing later on. So, now that we got that set right, like the premise of the villains of what they're doing, hey, let's focus on the heroes now and then see how they've been progressing. Because if Endeavor couldn't take care of one or barely could, like, what are a bunch of kids going to do? So, yeah. you, know, you got to have that balance. You know, well, I think I think you did a good job of like explaining that. Can I just say something really quick, Sretton? Mm-hmm. Sure. I think a big part with the uh, my issue with the League of Villains for a long time was that I feel like they would just kind of bring them out when it was convenient for them to be part of the plot line without really like giving them any motivations that we really necessarily understood as an audience for a very long time. Even now, like, I don't know why, why, ha- why half of them are doing what they're doing. I don't understand why Toga exists. Like, I don't, <laughs> I just, I just, I feel like it's kind of messy the way that they've mm-hmm. been involved in the plot up until this point. So now um, with Endeavor coming in as the number one hero, we're starting to see, like, at Taku's point, we're starting to, they're kind of emphasizing where the League of Villains is going. So you at least have in the back of your head, okay, here's some of the moves they're doing. And I think now they're going to be focusing in again, reigning in on class A, 1A and B. And then finally we're going to get that bigger narrative of the League of Villains, I think yeah. is what's going to happen. And it's just been messy up until this point. I think that's really, like, the big problem. To, yeah. to be fair for both sides, like, I, I get, like, both, like, you know, like, uh, Heroes Lost All Might, and then the other side, they lost, uh, was it All for I'm blanking on One for All? Oh, or was it All yeah. for One? No, All, all for, for One. one. All for one. <laughs> okay, All for One. I get, like, both sides are basically, they lost, like, their like, epitome of, like, good and evil. So it's, like, they're both kind of, like, reeling of, like, what to do. I think that's also why, like, Hero struggled last season is because uh because we knew all might is like that's just strong character 
And then once they lost them, then basically all we have is like you know Deku and like Endeavor as like a as like the main like strongest heroes now. Mm-hmm. So it's just like oh man, we have to go to this. <laughs> so, and then I, I get with like uh, with the villains like because like he was the one that basically gave everybody like their quirks. He was able to like you know splice things up. And then like he's gone or he's not gone, but he's not, he was it in jail, prison, whatever. He's, yeah, he's yeah. in lockdown. So I, yep. it's like I, it's more like just kind of I think both sides are just trying to find the footing. And just trying to find like the story in that sense. That's how I feel it as. But yeah, yeah. And, and they're getting they're there. I feel like they're yeah. they're starting off fairly well, you know. Oh, and yeah. then I, I, you know, villains shouldn't be on the limelight either. If you're a good villain, you should be like operating in the shadows, not letting everyone know your business. So yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm still gonna watch the show to the end, just because I actually do like here. You know, like I like their characters, and everything. I'm like essing on the show now, but it's like I want it to be Ooh. better. Okay. <laughs> so, no, I think I agree I, with Sasha 100. You know, <laughs> boo. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, what were you gonna say? What were you gonna say, David? No, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Okay. But cool, cool one up me. So that's the better wrap up. So I was gonna say it's like you gotta get your mindset back into though of like this is a very long running series and it is you know it's shown in. I remember that. Yeah. It is something that when you're juggling it with you know the shorter shows like those are obviously gonna move plot at a quicker pace and with Shonen's you know they move at a more steady progression. And I remember having having that 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 switch back and forth of like hey. Maybe not as much as is going to happen in, you know, episode each week with the Shonen versus other stuff. So. That's why like, I'm right, saving right. most of my thoughts, like, till after all this, like, the, the school stuff. Probably a good move. <laughs> I don't really think I have much to add for these episodes, so...